day, Capricorns. This is Astro Girl, and here is your star outlook for January 27 through February 2nd. And this is one of those weeks I've been telling everybody that it's going to be, you know, a race to the finish line. You'll be, you'll be glad it's over, but while you're in the thick of it, you'll be loving it. Now, the one good thing, a very good thing for you on Friday the 31st is Venus moves direct after being out of phase in your sign since December 21st she finally moves direct and you are going to have a very lovely February with her in your sign moving direct also happening on January 31st is a the second new moon for January you had a new moon in your sign on the second and now we've got the second new moon in Aquarius on the 31st. There's no new moon at all in February. There's only a full moon, which is very unusual. I can't actually think of a time when there hasn't been a new moon. And then there's a new moon again March 1st. Also happening January 31st is the start of the Chinese New Year. And I often find that people ask me about the Chinese horoscope. And I don't know a lot about it, considering that I you know, work with the Western horoscope. But this is the start of the Chinese New Year, and it's symbolized by the wooden horse. And I think that's a very earthy, strong, uh, wonderful symbol, a wooden horse. You know, we've had the snake, and we've had other things in the past that have been weaker. I think 2014... Although it started off for you not fantastic, and although we're going into a Mercury retrograde February, I have a feeling things are really going to kick up and pick up in March. And I have a feeling that by the end of 2014, we will have seen a lot of changes in the world and in our own backyard. So I think it's something to be celebrated. Now, Mercury, the planet of communication and clear thinking, is in Pisces, before, it, and then it goes retrograde February 6th. That's your third house of busy activities. And it's really important, Capricorns, that you run around and, you know, dot your I's and cross your T's and get everything done that needs to be done. Sign that paperwork. If you've committed to something, commit to it. Just be aware that once Mercury goes retrograde, Murphy's Law is in full effect. Whatever can go wrong will go wrong, and you really don't want to get stuck out there in some sort of bad situation when you've been warned. And so you've really only got a week until it goes out of phase, and February's a short month. So make sure that you, you know, if you're releasing a car, or if you get it going into escrow, or if you're buying a gift for Valentine's Day, try and do it before the 6th. Have a great week, and I'll speak to you again next week, Capricorn.